What an absolute disgrace. The dumping of hundreds of kilos of Australian salmon allegedly from a commercial net adjacent to the Ardrossan jetty on October the 8th. Here you can see the fish, mostly floating belly up, just below the surface of the water. They were more than a metre deep in places and stretched over a hundred metres from adjacent to the jetty. A white van and a netter were seen at the Ardrossan facility shortly before this footage was shot. The video has gone viral on social media, with most responsible fishers deploring the action. Some comments from certain members of the commercial fishing fraternity have not helped their cause. It is a most blatant waste of a magnificent resource. Dead fish for South Australians. Estimates have suggested that more than 8,000 kilograms in total of salmon were taken off Ardrossan during that weekend. It is known that most of the fish at the bottom of the net died through the sheer weight put upon them during retrieval. So much for the commercials and purs are claiming that recreational should only be allowed a fair day's catch. This is what happens when there is no total allowable commercial catch quota on our finfish species. The pros, as we have long said, can go out and kill the pig on our finfish species. Australian salmon are not a high value fish for the commercial sector. They normally smash schools with their nets and sell the catch basically for cat food. If they can catch enough, it turns into a nice little earner for them. But what happens when they catch too much to fill their vans alongside the dock? Just look at the footage again for your answer. It's disgusting that in this day and age, such an incident could continue to happen. I immediately notified Perser and Fisheries Minister Leon Bignall seeking an immediate investigation into the dumping. Shortly afterwards, the Marine Fishers Association's Executive Officer, Nathan Bicknell, said on their Facebook page, Typically, the small-scale per seine method employed allows for successful release of excess catch, as is described in the MSF Net Fishers Association's Code of Practice. The individual operator's decision to operate outside industry norms was a contributing factor. Outside industry norms? What a mealy-mouthed excuse for such a tragedy that can never be reversed. What does that comment mean? Firstly, they acknowledge it was one of their own. They acknowledge that he broke their code of practice, thereby distancing themselves from any liability. But these weren't a successful release. They were dead. They even had the audacity to put up this photograph as an explanation of gear malfunction. You can clearly see the hand in the top left of the frame and then the small hole, the size of a saucer plate, cleanly cut. Don't suggest it was a knife. How could 400 kilograms of dead salmon escape through this small hole? You'd have to believe in unicorns. Don't sell this tripe to the public, thinking we are gullible. Some of us can think for ourselves. As for operating out of industry norms, so what is that? They claim, along with Perza, that he caught the fish 300 metres offshore. They know it is illegal to net within 100 metres of jetties and other structures. But then they claim the net got hung up on the BHP jetty. How did that happen if he was 300 metres offshore? Fanciful to say the least. Arrogant to suggest this has a reason. I do feel a slap on the wrist is coming. This is the interest Fisheries Minister Leon Bignall has in the wasteful dumping of such an iconic species. Zilch. Nothing. Just read the reply I received from his office. We appreciate you bringing this matter to our attention and will ensure it is brought to the attention of the Minister's Chief of Staff. Hallelujah. Our Saviour. Our Minister. For dead fisheries. Really, I didn't expect anything else from this bloke. So it is known that some commercial fishers continually fish outside of industry norms. Throw the book at them, take away their license. This type of action is indefensible. And the way the Minister, Perza, the MFA and other commercial fishers have gathered around this outrageous act to shore up their own positions is outright deplorable. 
This date has gone belly up, just like those salmon on a warm, sunny Sunday.